Hello everybody, today I want to show you um, how to use Kubernetes.io uh, web, uh, website during your uh, CKAD or CK exam. Um, it, it is really um, a thing of beauty. Um, it's, it's really, really helpful and it's super fast, um, but you really have to uh, get a practice of using this and really have to um, trust that this documentation actually has what you need during the exam. Uh, so I just want to do a demo of this because it's so, so useful. You almost ha don't have to go anywhere else for any kind of example or documentation. So let's say you're looking for a pod that has certain containers or whatever, right? So I just search for pod and I click on pod. And you see in this page, it gives you um, a kubectl command. It gives you the actual YAML that you can copy. Let's say that uh, the task was to create a pod with two different containers. Um, you look at this uh, YAML. All you have to do is copy the section under container. So there's one container here, right? If you copy that those four lines and put it in underneath it, change the parameters, you have a second container running on that pod. So one example, let's say you're looking for, oh, I don't know, persons, persistent volume. And you click, click on the first one. And again, it gives you examples after examples of how you can do this. Here's an example with the YAML file. You see there's a whole bunch of things here that you can use and reuse and not use for what you need for a persistent volume. Let's say that you're looking for uh, environment variables in, in a container. The first one that shows up is define environment variables for a container. And you go in here and you see that it gives you exactly how you can have two different environment variables for that, for that container. Again, super easy, super fast, and easy to find. Let's say that you were looking for a, um, a replica set, right? You type in RS and the replica set. And again, it gives you example that you can modify and reuse for your purposes. So I hope uh, you understand that um, using this site is actually very, very helpful. Your day-to-day -day work and for exam is fast, it's effective, and it gives you examples that you can start with. You just modify a couple of things and you, you got what you need. Uh, I hope you, f you find this video useful. If you do, do, please like and subscribe because that helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you next time.